Number 30. What is the hot reservoir temperature of a Carnot engine that has an efficiency of 42% and a cold reservoir temperature of 27 degrees uh, Celsius? So basically we're looking at this formula over here, right? For the Carnot engine, so this is letter A. It says the efficiency of a Carnot engine is equal to one minus the temperature of the cold reservoir divided by the temperature of the hot. And we are asked to find the hot, right? So we basically got to do a little algebra manipulation to solve. So we're just gonna switch these two. Uh, essentially mathematical terms. So we have T sub C over T sub H will then be equal to one minus now the efficiency of the Carnot, right? And basically now all I can, all I need to do is take this value out of the denominator on the left, bring it up into the numerator on the right and take this value that was in the numerator. Remember this is really like over one and then bring that down on into the left, all right? We've seen that mathematical trick now many, many times. So hopefully that's good at this point. So now we just have to plug in the values. Remember only Kelvin temperatures go in here. So we gotta take 273, which is the temperature of the cold, but add to that 273. So we, I'm not sure if I said that right because there's 227 in both of these numbers basically. Uh, so we have to take 27 degrees Celsius and add 273 to that to find Kelvin. Then divide that by now one minus the efficiency and they told us it's 42%, but you know we need that in decimal form. And now voila, all we need to do is just calculate. So this is 27 plus then 273 divided then by one minus 0.42. And here's about 517. So this is about 517 Kelvin. All right, that will be equal to then the temperature of the hot reservoir. That is a temperature. That is an answer. If you need it in Celsius, just subtract 273 from that. All right, that should be easy. And here is letter B now. So it says, what must be the hot reservoir temperature uh, for a real heat engine that achieves 0.7 of the maximum efficiency, but still has an efficiency of 42% and a cold reservoir temperature of 27. So basically, uh, the Carnot efficiency is another word for maximum efficiency. So when you see the term maximum efficiency here, let me put this in black, that's basically a term that signifies Carnot efficiency, so E sub C, okay? Now, if that's the case, right, then we know um, we're probably most likely going to be using uh, this particular formula, all right? So again, we have the Carnot efficiency will be equal to one minus T sub C over T sub H. It's literally gonna be the same thing. We've got to solve for the hot. So I'm gonna wind up with this formula over here. I'm just going to rewrite it, all right? So the hot reservoir temperature will be equal to the cold reservoir temperature all divided by one minus the efficiency of the Carnot. Now here's the difference though, right? They didn't, they, they told us the actual efficiency, okay? This is the actual efficiency. So we basically have to find a relationship between the actual and the maximum, all right, value. So let's consider this. Pretend that you had a maximum of $100, right? But you're taxed on it. So you know that you're only going to get, let's say $70 of that or so, okay? How can I make this statement true? How can I make 100 equal to 70? Well, I could say this, that I had to take the 100 and multiply it by 0.7, right? If I take 100, multiply it by 70%, essentially, I'm basically saying, what's 70% of 100? Well, it's 70, right? This is the max that you earn, but this is what you actually get. So how can I apply that to this problem? Well, basically it's the same thing. The max value is what we're looking for. The actual percentage they told us was 42, right? I'm just gonna convert that into a decimal. And then whatever percent, right? Or fraction of the maximum I'm gonna plug in here. So it's 0.7. So now this simply becomes that the max value, right? Is going to be equal to 0.42 divided by 0.7. Let's see if that makes sense. 0.42 divided by 0.7, what do we get? We get about 0.6. And that makes sense now, right? The maximum value here should be greater than the actual, all right? And now this, remember, the maximum value is just another word for the, the Carnot efficiency. So this now is the value, my friends, that is going to be plugged in to this E sub C, okay? So we have the temperature of the hot reservoir now equal to the temperature of the cold, which is simply 27 plus 273 again, divided then by one minus 0.6. So let's see what we get. So we get now 300 on, in the numerator essentially divided by one minus 0.6. 
and now we get about 750, 750. All right, and that's in terms of Kelvin again. If you need it in Celsius, simply subtract the 273. All right, um, and letter C, does your answer imply practical limits? Uh, sure. Guys, take care. Thank you very much for tuning in. All right, we appreciate it, and we hope to see you soon. Take care, and take care. One more time, take care.